Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I want to show you this x program, which will record uh, audio, and it has the capability of only recording when a audio level is reached, similar to a squelch on a radio. And that way you get a nice compressed files, and it doesn't record all that dead space. Well, I've got it working now with a scanner radio that is scanning the marine bands on VHF, the marine channels on VHF. And for some reason today, that set of channels has been really busy. Now, let me show you some things that I found out about this. And we'll kind of go around the page here. I'm standing behind my webcam, which is laying on a tripod, so I hope I don't knock it off. Um, <clears throat> over here it shows you the audio level and then here this little slider right here is where you set the point at which it starts recording so you see you saw just then it got above that level and it's recording and then when it gets below that level then it stops recording the other feature which is the feature I was looking for is right down there is a little box with a number in it the number goes from 1 to 10, and that is the time the time that it delays before it stops recording. So I've got that set to 8 now. I've got a pretty big number. So instead of this coming down fast, like the uh, when the signal stops, if it was set to 1, it would zoom down and it would stop recording. I put a delay there of 8. I don't, know, I don't know what it's, 8 seconds or what it is. And therefore, it still records that period of time at which the signal has gone away. In case the signal comes back, you know, instead of having all these little, tiny little files, it, um, it's, it skips over and includes those short blank periods. There's no audio. So that's a nice, nice little feature. Up here... It gives you a lot of information about the particular file that it's recording on. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little better. So here is the date up here in a very small print. Uh, here's the, the length of the file, I believe, that it's generated. The time it is, the time of day. The format at which it's recording, it's recording at... 8 kilohertz, that's the bandwidth, and it's 8-bit mono uh, recording. This is the elapsed time that it's been recording, or it's been, since it started, since this particular recording was started, the free space on the hard drive and the amount of file space it has used so far. Up here, you can set timers to have it start this recording sequence or session at a given time. So that's kind of nice. Then down here is, and here is the file name that it's recording to right now. And then down here, and I need to zoom out, because if I try to move the camera, it'll probably fall. <laughs> down here is a log of all of the little snippets of audio that it's captured. And where that really comes in handy is when you're playing back, and down here is the playback section, you can go directly to one of these snippets. And so if you saw something that happened at, you know, a certain time of day or it was a long, long snippet, you could jump right to it instead of playing the whole entire file. Over here is information about the file that you're playing back. So this is just a short recording I made when I was setting it up. So the, the duration was just very short. And what else? Uh, I think I covered about... Every, oh, here is... I have an experiment with this. This is a stamp that you can put in the file when an event occurs, while it's recording. So if, say if it was scanning, uh, oh, say if it's scanning the, the marine band, which is scanning now, and I was watching the scanner, and I saw, oh, 
there it hit the emergency channel. I could type in there emergency channel and uh, it will save that as a log in the file. So you can then scan through that file and find that event uh, using the uh, search button right here. Okay. Like I say, I haven't used that, so I'm not sure exactly how that works, and I probably won't use that. And it has some um, information down here on the bottom about what's going on. It, it's basically a pretty nice little program. I um, Like I say, right now, I'm using a scanner radio, and it's set to scan the marine bands, which today, for some reason, appears to be really active. I'm using a antenna that is built for the marine bands. So I've got the proper antenna for about the first time in my life. I've got the per proper antenna for the band I'm listening to. Um, I'm using this is a this is the the rub about this program. I tried to use this program on my other computer um, in the workshop here which is running Windows 7. This program would run, but a lot of buttons didn't work. And I, in a previous video I told you about, this is the uh, slider for the audio level when you're playing back. I would set that level, and then it would slide itself back down. Also, when I went to set some of the settings, the settings pop-up window never came up. Well, I put it on this this same program on this old Toshiba, no, excuse me, HP laptop, which is running XP. Now, this is a pretty old program, and apparently it was never upgraded to run on Windows 7, even though it's a fabulous program. It apparently doesn't want to run on Windows 7. Now, Maybe there's some other thing about my Windows 7 setup, but it doesn't want to run on Windows 7. So, I got it on this old laptop. It's working, working perfect, and it's very useful. It, it does exactly what I want. Well, the only thing it doesn't do, which it couldn't because it doesn't interface with it, but it doesn't tell me if I'm scanning, um, say, a bunch of just a bunch of frequencies. It doesn't tell me when it captures something what frequency the radio is on, of course, because there's no communications with the radio and this program or any other program. Now, what I was looking for um, on my other computer, running Windows 7, which I have a SDR connected to, and I'm running uh, several SDR programs. I was looking for a program that would do basically the same thing and also control the SDR. So therefore, the information about the frequency is on would be available. Uh, I didn't find anything in SDR console. Uh, I can't run, don't ask me why, but the particular SDR I'm using right now, which is a Fifi SDR, I can't get uh, SDR sharp to recognize the drivers for the Fifi. So I think there might be an option to do just what I want on SDR Sharp, but I can't get it to work with it. I, what else have I tried? Of course, the, the Fifi comes with its own software. Fifi SDR, it's called, actually. And uh, I haven't used that much, so I, I would need to go back and see if there is any record capability on, on that software package. I don't know. Uh, in SDR console, there is a record capability, but I don't think it has a squelch control, and I don't think it's recording audio. I think it's recording the data stream from the SDR, which includes everything, the, the audio, the, the signal level, the frequency, everything. I haven't experimented with that. So if you have any suggestions, because like I say, this is a great program, and for the most part it'll do what I want, but it doesn't, if I want to scan multiple frequencies 
other than say like the Marine Band, uh, or even the Marine Band, I might want to know what channel um, that it recorded audio on. Uh, it doesn't do that, so that, that's the one thing I'm missing from this program. So anyway, I just thought I would show you the, more of the functions of this. I've used them all except except uh, the stamp log. I probably will never use that. So anyway, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.